Many of you have probably run across a situation where you wanted a project to behave differently under some circumstances. Or perhaps you wanted to be able to quickly switch between different project setups. Project configurations are a flexible and easy to use tool that makes it possible to create many different setups within a single project. As an example, let's consider an application where we have two versions of our code. A cheap version with minimal features and an expensive version with advanced capabilities. In this case, you might want to include or exclude certain blocks of code depending on which version is selected. Now here we have an ordinary application where I have two ifdef directives uh, with a couple of labels here that I want to use to include or exclude a particular block of code depending on which version of my program I want to build. Now the typical way you would have handled something like this in the past is to use a define directive up at the top of your program where you would uh, define one of these two labels and then every time you built it would pick up on them. But there's a more elegant way to do this. So I'm going to go into the project properties window And then down here in the bottom left corner, I'm going to click on Manage Configurations. Now you see that there's one configuration already called Default, and every project will have this default configuration. You may also have noticed in the toolbar, there's a combo box with the word Default in it as well. That combo box is what we'll use later on to switch between the multiple configurations that we're about to create. Now for this one, I'm simply going to duplicate the existing configuration. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call this one cheap version. And then I'm going to rename the default to expensive version. Now these are the labels that will eventually show up in that combo box on the toolbar, so they don't yet have any connection with what's in our code. Now when I click on OK, watch what happens in this tree-like area over here to the left of the main, uh, project properties box. And you'll see that I now have two identical uh, subtrees for the project configuration. The top one, we have configuration for expensive version, and then the one at the bottom for cheap version. Now if I click on this, you'll see that the project configurations give us the ability to completely change almost every aspect of a project, from the device to the tool you're using to individual compiler settings. So a configuration could almost be like a completely different project if you changed everything there was to change. But in this case, we're only going to make a couple of minor changes in order to accommodate these two different code blocks for different purposes. So what I'm going to do is come down here to the uh, global options for my compiler. In this case, I'm using the XC16 compiler. Now this part may vary depending on which compiler you're using. In fact, the C30 and some of the other compilers, you would actually click on the GCC node down below this to uh, create a preprocessor macro. Now over here on the right hand side where it says define common macros, I'm going to click on that and click on the blue area here. And I want to type in a label to match the ones that I've used in my code. So we're in the expensive version uh, project configuration, so I'm going to type in expensive underscore version hit enter and OK. We now have expensive version listed in there as a common macro. Now this is the equivalent of using a define macro in your code and defining the label expensive version. But I'm also going to come down here to the global options for the cheap version and I'm going to do the same thing. This time of course I'm going to call it cheap version. Again, matching what I've already written in my code. So I now have cheap version as a macro for that configuration, and I have expensive version for the expensive version configuration. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to click on Apply, and then OK. And you'll notice that that little combo box up in the toolbar now says expensive version. And if I click on it, you'll see that it also has cheap version listed there. So we can use this combo box now to switch between these two project configurations. But also notice that while I have it set for expensive version, that the if def block for expensive version picks up the color-coded syntax highlighting in the editor. Whereas under cheap version, it's all grayed out as if it were a comment. 
So it also lets you know exactly which block of code is active at the present time based on the configuration that you've set. So now if I build this particular project, I'm going to get that line of code there for the expensive version. Now this is just one possible way that you can use project configurations. Uh, as I mentioned, you could change almost every aspect of each configuration, or you may even use it simply to change between development tools. For example, if you frequently switch between something like a real ICE or an ICD-3 and the simulator, you could create one configuration for the ICD-3 and another configuration for the simulator, and you could switch back and forth between the tools simply by changing configurations. Also, if you were a user of the debug macro in MPLAB 8, that's not present, at least not as a built-in feature of MPLAB X. But you can simply create two project configurations, one for your uh, debug and one for release, and then you can switch very easily with that combo box. So if you're in the habit of creating multiple projects for similar setups, or you add a lot of preprocessor defines to your code, consider project configurations as a more flexible and elegant solution. For MPLAB XTV, I'm Rob Ostafia.